Love it. Final topic. Matt, why don't you bring us in for a landing with this baby? Because the drama ain't over. No, sir. Our final topic. No, Epic to pay. $520 million to settle FTC charges on Fortnite. First of all, does the FTC just hate fun? That's where you're asking yourself, because this is two articles in a row that we're talking about things the FTC are doing, and it seems like they hate fun. It's not. The FTC really likes to protect children's rights. And oh, yeah. When I think of the Federal Trade Commission, I think <laughs> children's rights. So you you know what Fortnite's been doing? And I'll read directly from the article. According to the FTC, Epic will pay $275 million for violating the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, or COPPA for short, and another $245 million for designing or design relying on dark patterns to dupe millions of players into making an unintentional purchases the privacy violations include collecting personal information from children under the age of 13 without parental consent or notification as well as enabling voice and text chat for children and teens by default the ftc noted that epic employees had pushed for the company to make voice and text chat an opt-in feature as early as 2017 but epic dragged its heels on making it uh the change despite reports of children being harassed and sexually harassed while playing the video games when it added the button to turn uh, voice chat off, the FTC said um, Epic made it hard for users to find. Oh, fuck, just spare me already. <laughs> it's the end of the year. Everybody's tightening their belt. People are starting to get litigious. Let's, let's make those balance sheets look nice. Listen, listen, listen. Fortnite has done an amazing job being an absolute cash cow however excuse me you can't do things like this and in this article they list multiple places where children are not only at risk but borderline targeted in a way that makes their gaming experience not appropriate for children. And you can't have that. I understand that at a certain point, watch what your kids are playing video games and watch what they're spending on video games. That is a parent's obligation, but you cannot be a parent in front of your child 100% of the time. And it is at the... It's the company is responsible for making it as difficult as possible, not difficult, making it as safe as possible of a gaming experience for children. If their game is directed at children, if you want to make Elden Ring a game that might take advantage of children purchasing things, maybe it's rated M. Hmm. Okay. That's a salient point. Fortnite isn't actually fact check i'm gonna fact check myself on that rated e for everyone that was good it's rated t for teen of course it is um probably because of the cartoon violence versus real actual violence however twofold solution to this epic stop being scummy parents take your credit card off the xbox yeah like like my my my, my kid is uh only f you know so many uh what what which calls it days days old yeah like i i am actively waiting for the day that he comes up to me and goes dad can i have your credit card because no listen you he know need, like the kid's going to need it to play video games like, you'll need it for, and it's, like, de for Xbox, at least, it's defaulted. Like, whatever card you're paying your subscription for, it keeps that information for in-game purchases. Okay. However, I'm assuming your kid and my, like, future kid will have the fear of God in them. Oh, yeah. If oh, they yeah. think that they're going to spend a couple hundred dollars on Fortnite skins and that shit's going to fly absolutely not however 
Uh, in this article, they gave a specific example of the fact that if you put your controller down and you're, um, you were in a menu, you could accidentally purchase something trying to wake up your controller. And that is an instance that's been cited multiple times. I think that's kind of bullshit because you have to press it a couple times to do it. And you would need to be in the like buy now window. Like you would need to click into the store, hover over the item, press the item, put your controller down, walk away for 10 minutes, come back and mash it. Can't see it. Mash it. For that to happen. One more time for the kids at home. Mash bash. You got to mash bash the A button or the X button, whatever console you're playing on. As long as it's not the B button. You know what the B button is for? The switch. Why did they switch the A and B? Why? Back to the control. You're spinning back control. Back to the point. Epic game completely, I think, is at fault here. But all of this is fine if you're paying attention to what your kids do. Well said. I agree. Matt, this is a phenomenal first episode Love it. of the new year. Love doing it with you, buddy. And if you want to stay locked in, ready, willing, and able to receive all of the financial context or industry trends that you know and you love, make sure you scan the QR code on your screen in front of you. Join the Discord. We have diabolical and phenomenal conversations over there. Leave us a good review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you're consuming this audio goodness. Subscribe on YouTube. Leave us a like. A lot of big changes coming in the new year. Wait till you see them. A lot of good stuff. And remember, as always, the one thing that will never change is that you should play video games and should be happy. Also known as Happy Gaming. (laughs) 